what is the best editing software? Now, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hate for this because this is a very divisive topic. I mean, there is so much controversy over what editor to use. But for me, it comes down to one thing, and that's the Adobe Suite. Because people will talk about, you know, Final Cut X versus Premiere versus Media Composer versus Vegas and all the other ones out there, all the different editors. There's a lot of them. But Premiere for me is is my even though it is flawed, get me don't get me wrong, it is flawed. It has its faults. But the fact that it's part of the entire Adobe suite and it all works seamlessly or for the most part pretty seamlessly together makes it for me the best editing software. Final Cut X is cool and it's got some neat uh, tricks to it and some things that it does a little bit different. It's also got its own quirks and its weird tendencies. Media Composer, I'm not super familiar with. I haven't used it a lot. I know there are people who swear by Avid and they love the system. But for me, it's, it, it, and I get it, it's what the professionals use in Hollywood as a standard. Now, a little bit of that is from the fact that you get a little bit of that legacy. It's what's been there in the past, so it's kind of got that foundation, that bedrock. And Final Cut was doing a pretty good job breaking into that for a while, and then they kind of screwed it all up with X. But for the, how do I say this, the independent, semi-professional, professional, someone who wants to do video, they want to do video and all the aspects to it, and they don't have to operate in someone else's system, I would go with Premiere. Because you get After Effects, you get Photoshop, you get Illustrator, you get Speed Grade, you get Media Encoder, you get Audition, you get almost, you get everything you need to make something. And it can be a video, a photo, uh, After Effects, you know, kind of graphic animation, whatever it is that you want to make, you can do. The only thing they don't have, oh, that's not even true, they do have it now. I was going to say they don't have like 3D modeling in there, but now Cinema 4D, there's a light version as part of After Effects. So you even have that. You even have 3D modeling if you want it in inside of After Effects, kind of. So you get all these things and they work really well together. Adobe has done a really good job over the past couple of years of merging all their stuff together. Speedgrade was garbage when it first came out, but now I use it more than Resolve. I was using Resolve because it had the coloring features that I wanted and needed. And so I was forced to work in the DaVinci Resolve system separate from Premiere and all my other editing stuff that I was doing. And it was really frustrating because it took me through this whole process of having to like export and re-import and making sure things were staying linked and that I wasn't changing names and it was just slowing the whole process down just for that added benefit of some, you know, higher end coloring tools. Well, when Adobe rolled out Speedgrade, I tried it out and it was garbage. Like it was so bad, I hated it. And a few years later, my my buddy, my good friend asked me, he was like, hey, are you using Speedgrade? Because you should really give it, check it out. And I took his advice, I checked it out. And the updates that they've done to that system and the way it works with Premiere is so nice. I found myself in the past using the limited coloring tools in Premiere because I didn't want to go into Resolve. It was just too much of a chore. It was too much of a burden. But now the way they have Speedgrade, it it is Speedgrade. It's fast. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot of extra time or energy to go in there and have a little bit more of that fine-tuned control and then pop back into Premiere and keep editing. Same thing with After Effects and the dynamic linking. You know, it's not perfect for every project, but just the fact that you can throw in some nice motion graphics or visual effects pretty quickly and seamlessly between Premiere and After Effects, just going back and forth, updating on the fly. That's so powerful. Same thing with Audition. If you want to edit your audio, which you should, bring it into Audition and do some noise reduction and EQ and dynamics and all that stuff that's a pain to do in Premiere, you've got Audition. These other systems like Final Cut, Media Composer, Vegas, they work well and they have their benefits on an individual editor application. But when you're looking at the whole ecosystem of all the software you have to use, it, in my mind, it just makes more sense to go with the Adobe suite. I mean, m- almost everyone's using Photoshop anyway. Just go to that whole program, and then you've got interplay between all the different branches of that whole ecosystem. And it's only getting better. You know, Adobe, I, I don't know if they could be doing better. I don't know if they're holding things back. But every year they're coming out with a new stuff. Like they just announced that Premiere is actually getting some upgraded coloring tools right inside of it. They're actually bringing in 
some of the tools and color manipulation techniques that are found in Photoshop and Lightroom, which I think is huge. Even Resolve doesn't work the way I want it to. Like, I love the way Lightroom handles color and the way you adjust things. And I've wanted that in for video for a long time, and they're doing it. They're bringing it to Premiere. So I'm really excited to check that out. Now, I'm, Final Cut's got its way of doing color and audio and all those things. Media Composer, same deal. But I'll say it again, when you're operating in an entire ecosystem, because it's not just about the edit, it's about everything that goes into the edit. So having something that works well and handles all those different files seamlessly and gets you from point A to point B as fast as possible, and it's stable and it's strong and it's got all the features you'd want. Like Premiere, I think it was just in the last last year's update, they finally added the final few missing features that I was still missing from Final Cut 7. They finally incorporated it in Premiere and now there's not anything that I'm missing. Sure, it's buggy. It'll crash every once in a while. It'll do things that I hate. It'll lock up and keep playing audio when I tell it to stop. But those problems are few and far between. And for the most part, it does everything I want it to do. So if I had to recommend anything, it'd be Premiere, but only for the fact that you get all that other stuff. You can branch out and learn After Effects and Audition and Speed Grade and all these other cool things that with the other software, you have to buy other programs and other applications to do those same things. But maybe you have a reason. Maybe you love Final Cut X or you love Media Composer. Just let me know. I'd love to hear it. Maybe you can convince me to go to the dark side and abandon all these great applications that I, I have and I can use. But maybe there is a killer app or a killer feature for each one of those that I'm just totally oblivious to. I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below.